Yeah, I wanna talk about things with you guys. I have just been in a really weird headspace. Honestly, kinda of go through it type of thing, just cause change is change and it's freaking hard. Guys, I have to show you something. Let me just show you. Hello everyone, I just woke up literally like two seconds ago, rolled out of bed and said, mm, today is gonna be a better day than yesterday because I don't know what is going on guys, but I have just been in such a funk. I have been in my own headspace, it has not been good. I've been so unmotivated. I swear a summer slump is a real thing. I have just been in a really weird headspace. Honestly, kind of going through it type of thing just cause change is change and it's freaking hard. So my room currently looks like a tornado hit it. I'm not gonna to show it to you because it's actually really really embarrassing yeah I want to talk about things with you guys because I don't know I feel like other people go through very similar things too and so if I talk about it maybe it's gonna help someone else or at least know that like you're not alone but guys wait I forgot to introduce myself hello my name is Gabrielle Moses if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you're old here what's up my little homies um you know what's gonna make your day a little bit better though if you enter the giveaway that I'm doing if you guys know anything about the giveaway all you have to do is follow me on Instagram snapchat TikTok. And then of course subscribe with video notifications on if you guys want to win merch zoom calls gift cards and a $500 gift box so if you want to do that be sure to do all that fun stuff But let me actually like wake up and get ready real quick Okay, I'm back and I brushed my hair and I put on mascara So you know what it's more than I did yesterday Um, my nose is also super burnt right now because I went to the lake and apparently I forgot to put sunscreen on my nose So I'm looking a little bit like Rudolph right now. Okay, but it's time to talk I hate talking about these things just because sometimes I start to feel really guilty that I'm like even sad I feel guilty that I'm sad because I know so many people have it like worse than me that the things that I'm sad about I really shouldn't be sad about or the things that I get really anxious about I shouldn't be anxious about and I don't know why I do that But I feel guilty for even feeling certain emotions sometimes and like yesterday to cope I literally freaking went shopping and I spent way too much money that I should not have even spent just because I don't know why I did it because I felt like, I don't know, there was a hole in me or there was a gap in me or I don't know what I was doing, but there was a void and I felt like it needed to be filled with freaking shopping. So I did that and I've just been in such a freaking weird headspace. I literally had two or three friends yesterday text me say, hey, you don't want to go to the pool with me or do this with me? And I literally said no to everyone because I was like, I just want to be alone. <laughs> So I did that yesterday and it was just, I can't keep doing this to myself because it's been like this for the past like few days and I've just not been able to get out of my headspace. I didn't even go work out, skip my workout, didn't eat till like three o'clock just because I didn't get out of bed till noon. So yeah, sometimes you just have some off days and I just wanted to share all of this with you guys because not everyone's perfect and online we show all of the perfect things. We don't show when we're sad, when we're going through stuff. Like a lot of people don't show that and I think it's really important to show that just to prove to you guys I don't know like I'm a freaking human I don't know but what's crazy I was shopping and stuff and I was just like in my headspace like not good and someone came up to me one of you guys one of my supporters came up to me and was like oh my gosh Gabrielle I just wanted to tell you thank you for everything like can I get a picture with you blah 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 we just talked for a second and mm, I don't know why but it literally changed my mood I was like shoot Gabrielle like what are you doing you got to get out of your head you're gonna do something good tomorrow <laughs> so I took the rest of the day to myself but I just want to say thank you guys for I don't know you are there for me even whenever you don't even know you're there for me because you guys are just supportive and I really really do appreciate that but last night I was also looking at quotes because sometimes I do that whenever I am in weird moods so I just wanted to read you two quotes that I found just because I don't know I think someone really 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 does need to hear this so the first one keep going no matter how stuck you feel no matter how bad things are right now no matter how many days you have spent crying no matter how many days you've spent wishing things were different I promise you won't feel this way forever keep going and then another one that I found I know some of you guys are like Gabrielle this is so cheesy shut up I'm gonna read this if I want to okay this one's another really good one whatever is going on it's okay it's okay if you're confused if you're hurt if you don't even know who you are or what you're even doing today it's okay to be lost and it's okay to be hurt because when you look back it's not these moments that you felt lost and unsure that you'll remember it'll be those moments after like how you found something and you've fallen in love with and you've made it your life's work it'll be what those dark moments led you to happiness so don't be afraid your moment is right there it's so close you just have to believe in it so that's what we're gonna
gonna do today, guys. We are going to believe in ourselves. We are gonna get ourselves out of that nasty headspace. If you're in a bad headspace too, we're gonna say some affirmations real quick. I am a badass. Repeat after me, ladies and gentlemen. I will do something good today. I will get out of bed. I am actually gonna do those things that I said I was gonna do and I am gonna make a difference in someone's life today. Okay, okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So first things first, one thing I like to do to get myself out of that funky headspace is go work out, so I'm gonna bring you guys to work out with me. And all throughout this day, we're just gonna be doing stuff for me, to better ourselves, to get us out of that headspace. And I honestly, I while I was reading all that stuff, I realized that the reason why I'm in such a freaking funk is because not only because Luke just moved, but also because I am starting to really doubt myself with this gap year coming up because I move in pretty soon in a few weeks and then it's like real like I'm not in school for a year I don't know what I'm gonna be doing for a year and it is freaking me the freak out because usually I'm so used to having a plan having a set goal for every single day you know like studying for this or doing that or doing this homework and this is gonna be my first year in literally since I was what like in preschool that I didn't have like school to go to or things to do and so I think I'm scared of failing which I don't know what I'd be failing but I'm scared of failing so yeah, just opening up my heart to all of you guys right now. But okay, time to go work out. We're gonna stop. Ugh. I'm here. Okay, we're gonna walk in. I'm gonna be so proud of myself afterwards. I'm gonna be so glad that I did it. And also, my water bottle matches my outfit. So it's gonna be a good workout. <laughs> Guys, I am dying today. I don't know what is up with me. Okay, so we're at my favorite shake place right now. There are so many different options. My personal favorite, I get it every single time, is the cake batter. But today we're getting butter beer. But let me just show you how many freaking options there are because it literally is insane. Plus they have teas, which during the school year, those teas literally saved me because, you know, I don't sleep. So yeah, but it's time to get my shake. It tastes so yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Honestly, it doesn't even taste like protein. That's why I love them so much. This place is called Downtown Nutrition. I love them. They're so cute. I was talking to Brittany, who is the owner who I was talking about earlier. The most adorable human beings ever, her and her husband. Ah, I love them so, so much. And honestly, that's why I love like doing everything local because you get to like actually meet the owners. You get to like actually make a difference, like shopping there and like whatever. Definitely check them out, guys. Same with my trainer too, Martino Training. If you guys are ever in Springfield, check them out. I'm gonna give the local plug because you know, what? that's just what I do but I'm gonna shower get a cute outfit on and talk to you guys in a little bit once I'm like I'm sweaty and sparkly we call sweat sparkles so <laughs> I definitely took a little bit of a nap but also I need opinions should I keep or shall I return because yesterday when I did my little shopping spree I bought this and I never usually shop at Lulu but I went in and these joggers just really spoke to me they fit in all the right places <laughs> in the top I don't I, don't know. I honestly did try looking for one of these on Amazon because they do have dupes on Amazon and I couldn't find this color So should I keep it allow myself to spoil myself or return because I feel guilty? I don't know why guys. I have to show you something My room is so bad. I know earlier. I said oh, I'm not gonna show you it I'm not gonna show it to you because it's actually really really embarrassing. I have trashed my apartment being in the funk that I have been in. And let me let me just show you. Um, those two suitcases I still have to unpack from LA, which was two and a half weeks ago. That one is unpacked. I actually unpacked that like three or four days ago, but I hate, I hate unpacking. Then I just have a bunch of stuff sitting there like, uh, uh, why did I let it get this bad? And please, you know you're going through it when your room gets bad and this is, it's bad. So I'm gonna go clean this, but there's a little hint of it it's guys it's so bad like what ah, I am so embarrassed but I'm gonna show you guys anyways because that is just my life unedited uncensored um, all that good stuff and then my bathroom I have clothes all over the floor too so I'm gonna go be productive and do that but yes guys don't forget to enter the giveaway and also should I keep this outfit or should I return it and oh the baby abs Urgh, baby abs are coming in but yes are we feeling it maybe I can't I can't get myself to rip off the tags I'm gonna wait till after I see the comments on this video because this will be up tomorrow. So hello tomorrow. It's today. 
I don't know why I said that. That didn't make any sense. I'm gonna go clean, but I hope this video helps someone out. You guys know if you're going through something right now, it's gonna get a little bit better. You might be in a rut for a few days. You might be just going through it, feeling all those emotions and it's gonna suck and you might cry and have some breakdowns. That's okay. That's normal. It happens. It happens to literally everyone. And a lot of times we don't tell people that that is going on. And let's just normalize that it's okay not to be okay 100% of the time. But yeah, it's weird being here alone now because two of my roommates moved out. My other roommate works like all day long. Luke doesn't live here anymore. My family's here, but they're always busy with like my little sister and traveling and random stuff. Usually I'm not here either. So that's what usually keeps me preoccupied. But these two weeks that I've been home, <laughs> it's been weird. But yeah, I leave for Iowa on Friday and then I get back. Oh, it's a surprise though. So no one tell my grandma. Um, and then I go to Vegas on Monday and then in Vegas for a week and I'm gonna see my brother and I'm so excited about um he had a baby back in December or his wife had a baby back in December and I haven't met her yet because of COVID so I'm gonna go fly out and I get to meet my niece I have three nieces so I'm gonna spend some time with them maybe you guys will see them in a video I also get to do a cop ride along in Las Vegas because my brother's a cop so that's gonna be real interesting but yes I'm gonna clean I'm gonna make myself some lunch we're gonna be productive today and then I just Decided that tonight I'm bringing myself and Ollie, my roommate's dog, on a date and we're gonna watch the sunset and I'm gonna get him ice cream. <laughs> So I'm sure you guys will see a TikTok about that. Also, don't forget giveaway. Be sure to enter that if you guys do want to win. All the stuff that I mentioned earlier. Definitely follow me on all my social medias. Also, I post a lot of content on everything too. And then make sure you're all the way subscribed too. Oh my gosh, I keep looking at my stomach. I am so proud of myself. We have been eating healthier lately. I've been working out. Oh, progress. I don't know why I said that. Colin, cut that out. <laughs> But yes, I love you guys all so much. Sending virtual hugs your way. I love you all, I love you. Hugs, kisses, <laughs> I'll see you later.